hello guys in this video we are going to be drawing the tangency problem given right on the screen first of all we are going to be drawing our center line which is a thin long chain line in this manner like this okay so we are going to draw a vertical line upward like this at this point also a thin long chain line preferably also so now at this particular circle here we have been given the length of this place to this particular place to be 152 millimeter so i'm going to pick 152 millimeter length from this point to this point like this this is 152 so at that point at which 152 is stopping i'm going to be drawing a straight vertical line upward also like this making use of my thin long chain line okay so we have been given a smaller circle here to be of diameter of 38 millimeter so the radius is going to be 19 millimeter radius so i'm going to pick 19 millimeter radius right on my on my compass 19 then place it at this point here and draw my circle okay then we have also been given a bigger circle of diameter of 76 so the radius is going to be 38 millimeter so i'm going to pick 38 millimeter place my compass right at this point and then draw my circle like this okay so now at this point at which 152 millimeter from this place we have been given a circle there of diameter of 50 millimeter of diameter of 50 so i'm going to pick 25 millimeter radius right on my compass then place it at that point here then draw my circle which is of diameter of 50 millimeter so from this particular point here we have been given a circle here which is 102 millimeters from this point here so i'm going to pick 102 millimeter on my compass 102 placing my compass at the center here i'm going to strike an arc like this in this manner okay so from this point also we have been given that the circle is placed at 146 millimeter to this particular place so i'm going to pick my compass 100 at 146 millimeter on my compass 146 millimeter i'm going to place my compass right here then i'm going to strike an arc okay so at that point where the arc is meeting we have been given a circle of 50 millimeter diameter that is the bigger circle is 50 millimeter diameter so i'm going to pick 25 millimeter as my radius yeah 25 millimeter as my radius then i would draw a circle like this okay so inside that bigger circle we have been given another circle of diameter of 25 so i'm going to pick radius of 12.5 right on my compass then place it at this particular point here then i'm going to be drawing my circle also inside that bigger circle of diameter of 50 okay so we have been giving thin long chain lines from that point to the center so i'm going to be drawing that also thin long chain lines like this from that point to the center then at this point also we have also been giving thin long chain lines here so we are also going to be doing that also like this okay so that is that for this particular place now i'm going to be drawing the arc that is joining these two circles here together i'm going to be joining the, drawing the arcs and we have been given the arc to be of radius of 76 millimeter radius of 76 millimeter and as we can see the arc is curving like this which means that it is an external arc so we are going to be applying the principle of addition so i'm going to be adding 76 millimeter plus 25 which is the radius of this circle here which we have been given so 76 plus 25 is 101 i'm going to pick 101 millimeter on my compass 101 millimeter on my compass then place it at this point here and then i will strike an arc like this okay so moving to this other part also we have been given this circle to be of diameter of 76 that's radius of 38 so 38 millimeter radius plus 76 which is 114 114 so i'm going to pick 114 on my compass 114 on my compass place it at this center here like this then i'll strike an arc so at this point where the two arcs are meeting i'm going to 
pick my compass with 76 millimeter 76 then i'm going to join these two points together like this it's going to be in this manner okay so that is that for this particular place now what we are going to be drawing next is this curve that is actually in the middle here as we can see on the diagram on the screen so i'm going to pick 85 millimeter radius as you can see the center line from this point is 85 millimeter radius so i'm going to pick 85 millimeter radius 85 on my compass 85 millimeter radius then placing my compass at this point here i'm going to draw thin long chain line with that 85 millimeter radius like this in this manner okay so now we have been given the radius of this point to be of radius of 18 that is the curve at which these two paths are joining to this particular line is of radius of 18 so i'm going to pick 18 millimeter radius on my compass 18 so at this point here i'm going to place my compass at this point here then i'm going to draw like this i'm going to draw like this then at this point where the curve is going to join with this place also i'm going to draw like this also okay so i'm going to place my compass at the center here and extend it to this length of this arc here then join these two together extend it to this point also like this and then join these two together like this so that is that for this particular place now as you can see in this place there is a line that is here that is joining to this horizontal line which we have been given right on the screen there is a line here to this place and as you can see that line is having an angle of 30 degree at this particular point if you can see it very well so i'm going to pick te my 30 degree cell square and my 30 60 degree cell square like this then i'm going to draw like this this is angle of 30 degree angle of 30 degree this point is 30 degree angle like this this is 30 degree okay so at this particular point here we can see that there is a curve here which is of radius of 50 millimeter from the center of this particular circle there's another curve here if you can see that very well so i'm going to be picking 50 millimeter radius I'm going to be picking 50 millimeter radius on my compass 50 millimeter radius i'm going to place my compass at this point then i'm going to draw that curve like this i'm going to draw that curve like this okay so now there is an arc joining this two places together there's an arc joining these two places together and it is an internal arc it is an internal arc so we are going to be applying principle of subtraction now we have been given the arc to be of radius of 152 millimeter we have been given the arc to be of radius of 152 millimeter so i'm going to pick 152 minus 38 which is the radius of this particular bigger circle here yeah? so 152 minus 38 is 114 so i'm going to pick 114 millimeter 114 then placing my compass at this point it is given as an internal arc so i'm going to be striking the arc internally to the this thing then we have been given the arc of this bigger place here to be of 50 millimeter so 50 minus 152 that is 102 millimeter so i'm going to pick 102 102 of my compass 102 millimeter radius of my compass then i'm going to strike an arc at that point where these two arcs are meeting i'm going to be picking 152 millimeter radius of my compass with radius of 152 millimeter i'm going to place it at this point where these two arcs are joining each other yeah then i will draw my curve like this joining these two places together like this okay so what we are going to be doing next is to draw this part of radius of 25 millimeter but before we continue if you found value in this video please ensure you hit the subscribe button to always be the first to get any more of our educational content on this channel and also hit the likes button thanks for doing that it's totally free please 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 thanks for doing that so now we are going to be drawing this particular place here i've been given 
an angle here of 120 degrees we have been given an angle here of 120 degrees so i'm going to pick my set square making use of the 60 degree side of the set square this particular part i'm going to be drawing a line which is tangential to this radius of 50 degrees i'm going to pick my set square like this then i'm going to draw it like this in this manner okay so after we are done with drawing this particular line here we have been given a radius here of 25 millimeter a radius of 25 millimeter so i'm going to pick 25 millimeter on my compass then place it at this point here which this line is intersecting with this um horizontal line then i'm going to draw an arc like this okay then using the same 25 millimeter radius i'm going to place it at this point where the arc is touching with that 30 degree line we drew in the beginning okay then i'm going to strike an arc like this I'm using 25 millimeter as my radius 25 millimeter okay i'm going to place it at this point here then i'm going to draw an arc which is going to be touching this place so that is actually the solution to this particular tangency problem we have been given right on the screen don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share with your friends that might also need it thanks for watching peace i'll see you in the next video